Hi guys, your Punjabi chef is back with an exciting fish recipe from the region of Chettinad. So join me and let's prepare Chettinad fish fry. For this Chettinad fish recipe, I'm using surmai fish. In English, it is known as kingfish. For this recipe, I have pad dried the fish. We we'll start dry roasting the masalas. First, I'll add fennel seeds. cumin seeds black pepper corn garlic cloves few pieces of ginger and pearl onion now we'll dry roast them for at least 5 minutes the combination of adding pearl onion with ginger and garlic and dry roasting them gives a beautiful flavor to the dish my dry roasting of masala is done let the masala cool down and then we'll grind it into a fine paste After my dry roast masala has cooled down, I'll put it in the blender. Next, I'll add two tablespoon of tomato paste, two teaspoon of tamarind paste, chopped red chilies, coconut oil, and salt. Now I'll grind it into a nice fine paste. You can add water if required. My marinade is ready. As you can see, it's a nice brownish color. Now I'm going to add a little rice flour to the marination. The rice flour will give nice thickness to the marination and once the fish starts cooking it will give a nice crispiness to the fish. My marination is ready. Now let's apply the marination on the fish. Let it get nicely coated. My fish is nicely marinated. I let the fish rest for at least 20 minutes. While the fish is resting, let's prepare a quick coriander mint chutney which will accompany the fish once the fish is ready. For that, first I'm going to take coriander, mint, chopped chili, 2-3 cloves of garlic, black pepper, cumin powder, and salt. My chutney is now ready. Let me add some lemon juice to it. I did not add lemon juice in the beginning because it will discolor the chutney if we add it in the beginning. Now we'll start frying the fish. First, I'm going to switch on the gas. Add oil. Once the oil start heating up, I'm going to place few curry leaves. Once the curry leaf starts crackling, I'm going to place the fish on top of them. I'm going to fry the fish for at least 5 minutes on one side and then I'm going to flip it over. After flipping it over, I'm going to cook the fish for at least 2 to 3 minutes. My fish is now ready. Now let's start off with the plating. So guys I hope you enjoyed me making this classic delicacy do try making this at home and do let me know how it turned out but before you go don't forget to like share and subscribe to get curry goodbye